Uh, everyone has been theorizing about the implications of Vision's lack of memories and uh, his Infinity Stone in uh, WandaVision. Um, the prevalent idea seems to be um, about uh, the possibility of a version of the Vision uh, from the 80s where he was rebooted uh, without color, um, memories, uh, and emotion. Um, which makes some sense. But I, I have a different uh, track in mind. Because, uh, listen, this is a show that increasingly seems to focus on the children of Wanda and Vision. Uh, Billy and... Uh, not Teddy. Uh, Tommy. Right, of course. Blah. Um, and, you know, in the comics, they grew up to be uh, young Avengers. Uh, Billy, in fact, is a founder. Uh, one of the four founders. And uh, their first recruit... Who's their first recruit? Remember? I believe it was like the... Was it Stinger at the end of the first issue? No, that was something else. That, that involved Kang and, and things. Spoilers? I don't know. Not really. Uh, it's also... The comics been out for 30 years or whatever, and uh, uh, the show probably won't delve into that. Who knows? Who knows? At this point, who knows? Um, but uh, the first uh, new recruit was a uh, younger, sleeker, uh, fresh slate version of uh, the Vision. Um... And, uh, yeah, so I'm thinking, all right, uh, no memories, no power stone, he needs to be new vision. But what's there? What's there without the memories and, and the mind gem? Um, well, essentially, he could be uh, a new being or, you know, a reincarnation, you know, of some sort, like Teen Vision. And uh, doesn't that even remind you of the baby vision we got at the opening credits of a recent episode, despite the fact that uh, the Vision as we know him was never a baby? I don't know. My last theory turned out to be apparently wrong. Uh, I'm due. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and that's all I'll say.